We're breaking down the ruthless, cutthroat, winner-take-all world of the banana business. And let me tell you, it's bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. Good morning, I'm Noah Galutin. Now, two of the biggest banana companies in the banana biz are getting together like two bananas 69ing trying to create a big old banana trust, like a banana monopoly, a bananaopoly, a bananaopoly, monopoly, mono ban it's, a, it's a lot of bananas. Chiquita, which is based in the US, has merged with Fife's, which is based in Ireland, and this new company is called Chiquita Fife's, which I'm pretty sure they had to spend a long time figuring out. Because, you know, we can just say Chiquita Fife's, Fife's Chiquita, Chife's, Fife Kita, the Chifka. I think they should have gone with Pachaifka. Now, Fife's is already the largest banana distributor in Europe, which is weird, because I was pretty sure that I am the biggest banana distributor in Europe. I mean, my penis. Now, the ironically named Chiquita is also massive, like my banana, and when they merge together, they'll earn about $5 billion in banana revenue. Now, that is a lot of cabbage. It's a lot of banana cabbage. That sounds gross. This merger means that three companies will control 80% of the world's banana business. The other two companies are Dole and Del Monte, which means if there's ever a uh, Dole Monte merger, then you can just kiss little banana goodbye. Big Banana is gonna run everything. Then again, Big Banana already does kind of run everything, which means it's sort of getting very difficult with three big hands carrying all the world's bananas to have a fair and equitable market. I know we're just talking about bananas here, but these companies own huge amounts of land in South America, and it gives them the ability and the power to basically influence politics. So countries relying on bananas as their chief export, or really any one thing as their chief export, makes them really beholden to these large corporations. It creates volatile situations and big problems. Like they always say, mo bananas, mo problems. That's where the phrase banana republic comes from. It's also where Argyle sweater vests come from, am I right? You're sitting right there, I don't know why I, I thought you'd be here. It doesn't make any sense. Bananas look like dicks. So two big companies merging together to make an even larger company means that basically they're uh, controlling every single aspect of the supplier's production and making it even harder for family-operated banana farms to really do much of anything. They're getting squeezed out like a banana from its peel. And if you don't give a crap about that part, maybe you give a crap about the part where they can start raising the prices of bananas. And if you don't care about that because you don't even like bananas, then, well, frankly, I'm sort of surprised you're still watching this video. I'm Noah Galutin. Subscribe to Taste It, and sometimes you get actual food news, and other times I just eat a bunch of Doritos Locos tacos. So it's, you know, fair and balanced. Like my balls. They're not fair.